welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's like a back end on like the YouTube creator system and I can actually see what my audience is searching the most and the top one there was a downtown girl aesthetic. So I'm happy to be diving back into this aesthetic. I did a few videos on it back in the fall time and I love this aesthetic. I feel like it's so wearable and comfortable and just like an easy aesthetic to incorporate into your personal style. We're gonna get into it today. I'm gonna be talking about my downtown girl aesthetic must-haves and then I'm also gonna be styling these pieces for you guys. I feel like this aesthetic has a lot of um, like early 2000s inspo so you'll be seeing a lot of that in today's video. I get lots of inspiration from Pinterest of course. I pretty much live on Pinterest. I also get a lot of like inspiration from like older movies and TV shows like Gilmore Girls. I feel like Rory and Lorelai Gilmore are the perfect inspiration for this aesthetic. Also like Kat Strafford from 10 Things I Hate About You. So you will seeing lots of influences from them throughout this video. I'll try to link everything that I'm wearing down below in the description box. I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I first want to get into some accessories because I feel like I can just show you the accessories and then just style those throughout the video with the outfits. So starting with shoes, black chunky Mary Janes. You guys, these are the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own. And they're like one of the cheapest pairs of shoes in my entire wardrobe, but I legitimately wear them so much. They're from Nasty Gal. I love that they have like this platform on the bottom. So they're perfect with wearing with like boot cut jeans or skirts or literally anything. It's just like my go-to shoe. I kid you not, they're more comfortable than my docks. They're more comfortable than my Converse. They're literally the best and they're like $30. I will link them down below for you guys. Next is a good old pair of Converse. I feel like a lot of people already have this in their wardrobe, so it's perfect. And they're so easy to style with like a casual top and some jeans. Very downtown girl, very Rory Gilmore core. These are just the all-star like basic Converse. I'll link them down below. I like the black ones. I really like the burgundy ones that they have, um, but the ones I have are in the charcoal color. Next is a good old pair of Doc Martens. You guys know I love these ones. I wear them all the time. These are the 1461 Bex Smooth Leather Oxford Shoes. You could go for Oxfords, you could go for loafers, boots, whatever tickles your fancy. Is that something people say? I don't know. But again, I feel like these are so perfect for the downtown girl aesthetic. I love styling them with like little cute heart socks. That's like my go-to. Another thing that I wear all the time is longer heeled boots. Now these are kind of more of like a cowgirl style that I've been wearing more recently. Uh, I just feel like these are so cute. I love wearing them with longer skirts as well as mini skirts, boot cut jeans. You can really just style them with anything. And I feel like like longer boots like this just automatically make you look very fashionable even if you're wearing a super casual outfit so definitely a go-to for me these ones are from dream pairs the first bag is this echo suzy vintage jane messenger bag you guys know i wear these all the time i also have this one in black they're very very nice quality this feels like, a, like it's an expensive bag but it's really not another thing that i love is a good old tote bag tote bags are amazing especially in the spring and summer for that downtown girl casual vibe perfect for you know perusing around the bookstore so you can put all of your books in there and everything and basically any style of tote bag you can get these literally anywhere this one is from an apple orchard in indiana i think it's a really good idea to check your like local thrift stores for cool and interesting bags a lot of them will fit the downtown girl aesthetic like this messenger bag that's like a corduroy bag the brand is levi's Again, I got it at a thrift store for like $6 and I feel like it is just the epitome of downtown girl. Like it's just so perfect. Like it's giving Rory Gilmore at Yale kind of vibe, you know? Another bag that I've been loving lately, this one is from Brady Melville. It is again, like a corduroy material. I'm obsessed with anything corduroy and I feel like it especially looks cute if you mix it with like denim or something like that. I do that all the time. And this is just like a perfect everyday bag if you're looking for something a little bit smaller. I will be styling those accessories throughout the outfits in today's video so you'll kind of just see them scattered around. But one of my first essentials is any kind of like long sleeve top. For example, I have like these tops from Hollister. They're like knit empire waist long sleeve tops and I feel like they fit this aesthetic so well they're casual cute definitely have a little bit of that like early 2000s vibe with the uh, waistline and everything i love it so much i also got it in blue so i'll definitely show you guys how i style those styling these tops is just so versatile you can literally do it with anything if you want to do a skirt pants whatever it is i feel like they just work for anything because they're just so versatile and this could be used with like any lo like plain long sleeve top just in general but i styled this one with a black mini skirt 
Honestly, I feel like this outfit would look cuter with some black tights underneath, but I just couldn't be bothered to put them on in this video, to be completely honest. My bag is from Brady Melville, and then I just styled it with my Oxford Doc Martens. Another way you can style it is with some jeans. I feel like this is such a good go-to casual outfit. And then I just added that Echo Suzy Vintage bag for a pop of color and my chunky Mary Janes as well. I also went ahead and added this red leather blazer just to kind of layer it up just a little bit. Another long sleeve top that I love is just like any kind of basic striped long sleeve tops are super popular within this aesthetic. So I recommend getting something like that as well. This is just like purple and black striped top. Um, I actually thrifted this one, but the brand is Brandy Melville. So I'll show you how I style that as well. So this outfit is kind of giving me like Bella Swan in the first Twilight movie kind of vibe. Like it's exactly like one of the outfits that she wears going prom dress shopping. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I styled it with these black jeans, just super casual and very comfortable. I also styled it with this tote bag and some headphones as an accessory. I feel like you can barely see that this shirt is striped, but I promise it is. Another thing that I think is perfect for the downtown girl aesthetic is graphic tees. So this is one that I thrifted. It's literally like the epitome of the downtown girl aesthetic. I feel like Lorelai Gilmore would wear this with like a leather jacket over something. Another one that's not thrifted and that I'm pretty sure is still available is this one from Pakistan. It has that like baseball tee kind of vibe. Um, just very cute, really cute basics that you can just wear with jeans or like a mini skirt or something and definitely gives that downtown girl vibe. Okay, this is probably one of the most downtown girl outfits in this video. I feel like it is the perfect representation of this aesthetic, but I'm wearing this cargo skirt from Hollister, some knee-high boots from Dream Pairs, a little mini baguette bag just to accessorize a little bit. I went ahead and added my red leather blazer again. I feel like this just tops off the outfit so perfectly. This might actually be one of my favorite outfits in this video. And then styling the other graphic tee, I'm just wearing some basic jeans also from PacSun, this red Echo Suzy Vintage bag just to bring out the red in the shirt as well. We have Daisy Jones in the six, of course, the perfect book for the downtown girl aesthetic. And yeah, I feel like this outfit is just super cute and very comfortable. You guys know I absolutely love a good chunky knit sweater it's just like my go-to no matter what all of the time i have this one i call this my rory sweater it's literally exactly like the one she wears on the show hers might be a little bit more oversized but this one is from princess polly so cozy so warm i've been wearing it all winter long and i think everyone no matter what your aesthetic is needs a sweater like this because they're so comfortable i also have this one from paxson i see these kinds of sweaters all over Pinterest, like these kind of like color blocked striped ones. Like there's also that blue and green one. I think I saw like a blue and white one as well. Um, but I really like the beige and white just because it's like a nice neutral and goes with everything. And again, just a super comfortable sweater that's very easy to style with a lot of different things. Okay, pay no attention to the stain right there in the center of my sweater. I did spill coffee on it this morning. So it makes it even more of a Rory Gilmore sweater, honestly. But I wanted to keep this outfit super simple. I just styled it with some jeans and then that Levi's crossbody. I have, of course, my copy of Little Women and just styled it with some boots and then my silver heart locket necklace. Keeping the same vibe for the other sweater as well. This one also has a stain on it, you guys. I don't know, I need to like get my life together. It happens, it happens to the best of us, you guys. Styled it with these Hollister jeans, the same casual bag and some Converse. Another top is a good vest. I absolutely love vests. I always have. Um, I've been binge watching that 70s show lately and I've been obsessed with it and especially obsessed with the fashion on the show. They wear a ton of vests, especially like with Jackie's outfits. I feel like her outfits are so cute. I need to do like a whole video just dedicated to her because I'm getting major inspo from her outfits and she wears a ton of vests. So that's kind of what I'm thinking with this style. I also really like layering them over like graphic tees with like jeans or like a mini skirt or something like that. 
outfits automatically look so cute and so fashionable when you add a vest. So I'll show you guys how I style this one. Styling this vest is probably one of my favorite outfits in this entire video. I love the way it looks over on top of a graphic tee. This would also look really cute with like a white button up underneath as well with the collar peeking through but i feel like the graphic tee makes it even more like the downtown girl aesthetic but i paired it with this plaid skirt from princess polly my echo suzy bag and these cowgirl boots from dream pairs okay so one of my favorite skirts to wear for this aesthetic is like any kind of cargo or khaki skirt this green one I have is from Hollister. It gives me major early 2000s, like Cadet Kelly kind of vibes. I think it's so cute, so easy to style. I feel like I say that about everything, but truly is. I feel like everything is just very wearable and easy to incorporate into one's wardrobe. And it has this like really cute buckle detail as well. I also have the Brandy Melville khaki skirt, just a nice plain Jane khaki skirt. They also have like khaki skirts that are longer that I think are very cute for this aesthetic as well. I think a cargo skirt absolutely looks the best with any kind of graphic tee or long sleeve shirt. I know I already showed this outfit earlier in the video, but I really feel like this skirt could probably go with any of the tops in this video, whether it is a knit sweater, any long sleeve top, any graphic tee. I could even style it with the vest if I wanted to. And of course, I think a leather jacket just makes any outfit like 10 times better, but I styled it with this little baguette bag and then my knee high boots. Another skirt style that I've been loving is just like longer skirts in general, but specifically long denim skirts I think are so 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 cute and on trend right now. I'm actually wearing it right now So I will show you how I style that. I've actually had this skirt for a while and honestly I did not know how to style it until now. I saw a video on TikTok of a girl styling a long denim skirt I wish I had her at so I could share it with you guys, but I just styled this lacy tank top from Emil, that Brandy Melville shoulder bag, and these boots are again from Dream Pairs. I think a long denim skirt is so cool. It definitely gives me like an early 2000s kind of vibe as well. Next thing, this is the very most essential thing in the downtown girl aesthetic wardrobe is a nice leather jacket that you love and that you wear all the time which is exactly how i feel about the ones that i have here this brown one is from urban outfitters so easy to style it kind of has a little bit more of like a blazer vibe to it and this red leather jacket is my absolute baby it gives me downtown girl it gives me rock star girlfriend every time i wear it i feel so cool and confident and comfortable and it's this one from princess polly it goes with everything like it's literally just like if i was a cartoon character I feel like I would be wearing this jacket, so I will show you how I style it. Here is just a compilation of a few different ways I have styled this jacket. One of my favorite things to do is just wear it with jeans because I feel like it's just so comfortable and looks so cool, especially with just like a basic top underneath. Doesn't look like you're trying too hard, kind of just flows very naturally. It's a very casual outfit, but I feel like it still looks very fashionable. Same kind of outfit with jeans, a little bit more dressed down with the graphic t-shirt and the tote bag styled with it as well, and my Converse. And again, there's that outfit with the skirt. We have the graphic tee underneath, the mini cargo skirt, and the leather jacket on top. Another thing you're wanna you're gonna wanna be on the lookout for is any kind of just big oversized like bomber style jacket. Um, this is just like a jacket that we've literally had forever. I think it was my mom's and then somehow it ended up in my wardrobe. Somehow that seems to happen quite often. Just throw it over any outfit. It kind of swallows the outfit whole, but like it's a vibe and I'll show you guys how I style this as well. For this outfit, I like to keep it like very kind of dainty and feminine underneath since we have such like an oversized, more masculine jacket, I guess is how I would describe it. But I'm wearing this plaid skirt from Princess Polly, that lacy tank top from Emil, my silver locket again, and that red Echo Suzy bag that I've been wearing so much in this video and my knee high boots. Quick outfit change, but I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite jeans for this aesthetic. My favorite jeans in general. I'm pretty picky when it comes to jeans and I really like these ones. First ones, these are probably my most worn jeans. They're from PacSun. They are like a mid to low rise bootcut jeans with a little bit of a 
fray at the bottom. Once I realized that those fit my body type best, I feel like it was, it like changed my brain chemistry. These black ones are basically the same style, but in black. Um, but the black ones are a lot more comfortable, I will say. They are also from PacSun, it's from that same line. But they're just so cute, they have like the perfect amount of boot cut at the bottom. Not too much, not too little. Very comfortable and I wear these all the time. They just like go with everything. These ones are a little bit different. They're from Princess Polly. Again, it's like a lower rise jean. They're a little bit off center with the buttons there. And it's like a really, really dark blue, almost black. It's looking on screen. And again, just the bouquet at the bottom, super flattering and very comfortable as well. Okay, I totally forgot to film an outro earlier, so we're just gonna do it now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was a little bit helpful or insightful to this aesthetic. Follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok if you wanna see more shorter form content like this. Yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What?